Hello. Well, I have just about a day left in putting together Aunt Loretta's Medicaid application information, and I'm getting, I've done a month's worth of gathering information within barely two weeks that they give you with a deadline. And so now I'm ready as I've gathered most of the information, and uh, I'm just about ready to organize it and put it together into a package. And here I have, I'll show you, all the information I had to gather over the last two weeks in these folders, neatly organized in these folders. Each folder represents a different piece of information that have been photocopied that they require because they're not fooling around. They want everything. They want everything including including five years worth of bank statements and financial data to look back on. And a plethora of unbelievable amounts of other information, all detailed, all photocopied, all organized in these folders. Now, the system really stinks because it sets up tremendous barriers for you to get the long-term care you need in your old age or, or if you're disabled or elderly um, for the most wealthiest and most powerful and most successful country on earth to have such an unbelievably inhumane, difficult to navigate, incomprehensibly set up healthcare system particularly for long-term care for those who need it most, it is an abomination. And the, the two weeks that I've been spending almost around the clock gathering this data, gathering this information, photocopying, organizing, figuring it out, and trying to figure out where the barriers are going to be to make my way around it. Now, some people actually pay attorneys to do this. Well, if you're a person without the means to hire a serious attorney, you have to do it yourself. I can't even imagine how any individual can do it themselves unless they have somebody who's nuts like me, who is willing to spend all my time, all my effort, all my sweat and, 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 and work to do this. It's the only way. It's the only option you have. And they give you a list of a million things you got to get. And they are going to go through it with a fine tooth comb, particularly looking for reasons to disqualify you. That's the name of the game. They want to try to disqualify you. So you have to constantly, the burden is on you to prove why you need it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. I have other ideas about how the system should be set up, which I'll go into in a different time. But right now, I'm getting ready to organize all this stuff, put it together so that it could be coherent and organized and easy for them to digest. And that's what I'm about to do today. And I'm getting ready. I'm trying to beat the clock on this deadline. I have no choice. The gun is to the head. That the it, you have that's it. This is it. I mean, if you don't get if you don't get it, then you're stuck. And I mean, really, 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 really stuck. And what kind of compassion, empathy is that for poor Aunt Loretta? I mean, that just she's 97 years old for Pete's sakes. And here you're denying her the long term care. So I'm hoping, I'm praying that this will sail through the Medicaid process and it will be approved without a problem. I've gone out of my way to make sure that every single detail is taken care of. Every single detail is documented. But this is what you have to go through. It's a very, very painful, arduous process. It's not friendly. It's, it's, just, it's, it's, it's not available for most average or low-income people to navigate. It's really ridiculous. What low-income average person can afford a high-powered attorney to wade through this and state your case? What low-income person can, af can have, find somebody to help them? Not that many. So this is just the way it is. And I'm ready to wrap this up. That's what I'll do today. And I'll be back to you again when the package is completed.